Waziri wa Uchimbaji Madini, Uvuvi na Uchumi wa Majini Salim Vuria ametaja kwamba serikali imepanga mikakati ya kushughulikia swala la wavuvi kuhangaishwa na maafisa wa usalama wa mataifa jirani ya Tanzania na Uganda wengi wa wavuvi hao wakitaja kukamatwa pamoja na mashua yao. Waziri Mvuri amedokeza kuwa swala hili limezungumziwa na Rais William Ruto katika kikao cha baraza la mawaziri. Rais akitoa maelekezo kwa Waziri wa Usalama wa ndani Profesa Kithure Kindiki na mwenzake wa Ulinzi Edan Dwale kushirikiana na serikali za kaunti katika kuleta mwafaka katika hali hii. Kwa hilo ni swala ambalo tayari eh, nilipoenda Busia na tulikuwa na governor, tulikuwa na county commissioner eh, na tukaja Kisumu. E, maswala hayo yalijitokeza na pia kule e, kwale kwa mheshimiwa Fatuma Achani maswala hayo yamejitokeza kwa hivyo tumeshaangalia pamoja na tayari baraza la mawaziri imechukua hatua hiyo Vile vile waziri mvuri ametaja kwamba tayari kuna mazungumzo katika Jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki kutafuta mwafaka wa jinsi mataifa haya yanaweza shirikiana katika matumizi ya rasilimali zinazowaunganisha Swala hili pia limeingia katika ajenda ya Afrika Mashariki kwa Wizara ya Afrika Mashariki e, litajadiliwa e, kwa kiwango kikubwa e, katika mikutano ya mawaziri wa Afrika Mashariki ili kuwe na uiano wa nchi zetu za Afrika Mashariki na ile rasilimali ambayo tunagawa pamoja iwe inaweza kutumika e, kufaidi kila nchi na kila mwananchi e, wa Afrika Mashariki kwa Mwezi uliopita wavuvi 26 katika kaunti ya Busia waliripotiwa kukamatwa na maafisa wa polisi wa Uganda walipokuwa kifanya uvuvi katika Ziwa Victoria. Jambo lililochangia wavuvi kutoka ufuo wa Busembe eneo la Samia kuandamana kwa kile walisema ni ulegevu wa serikali ya Kenya kushughulikia wavuvi hao. Waziri Mvuri amesema kwamba wavuvi 23 wamewachiliwa baada serikali kuingilia kati na shughuli ya kuwatoa waliosalia ikiendelea. Kwa sababu mimi pia nilizuru kule Busia na Kisumu na swala hilo lilijitogeza. E, kwa mfano Busia kuna wavuvi 26 ambao walikuwa wamewekwa korokoroni kule Uganda. Na kwa ushirikiano wengine wakatolewa wakabaki watatu. E, hapa Kisumu e, hali kadhalika kuna mzozo kama huo. Na upande ule mwingine kule vanga pia saa ingine wakiingia barini e, idara ya usalama ya Tanzania pia kuna mzozo kama huo. Wakati huo huo waziri mvuri alifanya mkutano wa kwanza baina yake na kamati ya uchumi wa majini katika baraza la magavana ambapo maswala kadhaa yaliweza kuafikiwa ili kuboresha sekta hiyo na kubuni nafasi za ajira tumia rasilimali mbalimbali. Katika mkutano huo waliafikiana kubuniwa kwa jopo kazi lenye wanachama kutoka wizara yak na wawakilishi wa baraza la magavana litaundwa kushughulikia swala hili na kutoa mapendekezo yao ndani ya wiki mbili kuhusiana na mikakati ya kuboresha sekta ya uchumi wa majini. The Council of Governors and the Ministry forms a task, a task team to review underlying legislations and policies to conform to the constitution and report back in four weeks. The committee will be chaired by the PS Fisheries and Blue Economy and the CEO Council of Governors. Basically here, uh, this team, what they will do, uh, they will participate uh, in reviewing our regulations uh, that have been uh, aligned to the Fisheries Management Act 2016 uh, so that they can conform with the uh, county governments and national government priorities. So this is the team that will do this. The number three, that the ministry to convene a meeting with the five co uh, with the uh, governors to discuss proposals to restructure the KEMF said project to ensure it achieves its objective and aligns with the county priorities. Uh, these proposals will be tabled during the uh, KEMF said project mission meeting in February 2023. Ushirikiano wa baraza la magavana na wizara ya uchimbaji madini na uchumi wa majini imeafikia makubaliano ya kushirikiana katika kufanya marekebisho katika sheria ya uvuvi mwaka 2015 ili aweze kuambatana na sheria husika za kaunti katika juhudi za kuboresha sekta hiyo pamoja na kubuni nafasi za ajira kwa vijana wa kaunti ambazo zina rasilimali ya sekta ya uchumi wa majini. The blue economy has a huge potential economic potential for this country. And uh, It is up to the leadership uh, to make sure that we exploit that potential for the benefit of our people. 
and um, it is a new field. There is, uh, or there has been very little coordination, both at the national and the county level. So we want to take the first steps to make sure that there is proper coordination and um, that we take this agenda uh, forward uh, for the benefit of the people of Kenya. Samson Jura, Mwangawa Ebru, Nairobi.